Good morning all of you. My name is Maheshwari Nadre. Today I am going to discuss one theorem. So first see what the statement of the theorem. Let L be a complemented, pseudo complemented mid sub lattice and suppose ESL is a set with pseudo complement A star so that A belongs to L. Then, then if we take partial operation partial ordering of L it make yes yes lattice and also yes yes boolean lattice capital b So first we understand the statement of the theorem. Let L be a pseudo complement in lattice means every element has a pseudo complement means A meet A star equals to 0 and we are considering the set SL which is set of pseudo complement means A star such that A belongs to L. So uh, if we are taking partial ordering on L it make SL is lattice and also SL is a boolean lattice. So uh, here we here we want to show SL is a lattice means for proving anything is uh, lattice uh, if uh, we are we are proving that A, B, uh, A mid B belongs to L and A join B belongs to L and for proving it is boolean lattice so the definition of boolean lattice it must be complemented and distributive lattice. Why you are written there meet? You do not require meet, right? It is a pseudo complemented lattice. Yes, sir. Huh? Meet, why you are written there meet? L be a pseudo complement meet. lattice. Okay, sir. Huh? Pseudo complemented? Similated. So, before going to prove this theorem, we required some properties of this set SL. Uh, I first prove all these six properties and thereby using that property, I will going to prove this theorem. So, first property is that A is less than A star star. Second, if a is less than equal to B, then then P star is less than A star. Third property is that A star is less than or equal to it can be A star is equal to A triple A triple star fourth one is A is belong to SL <coughs> if and only if A equals to A star star. Property number fifth is if A comma B belongs to SL then A meet B belong to SL and property number 6 is supremum of A comma B over SL equals to 
ए स्टार मीट विथ बी स्टार स्टार सो फर्स्ट आई आई प्रूव दिस प्रॉपर्टी दैट इज ए इज लेस दैन इक्वल टू ए स्टार स्टार बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सुडो बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सुडो कॉम्प्लीमेंट वी नो दैट इफ ए स्टार इज अ स्टार इज अ सुडो कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए देन ए मीट विथ ए स्टार इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड इफ वी टेक एनी एलिमेंट एंड वी इफ वी टेक एनी एलिमेंट ई एफ सपोज एंड वी टेक मीट ऑफ दैट एलिमेंट विथ ए विच इज जीरो देन दिस एलिमेंट इज मस्ट बी लेस दैन ए स्टार सो सेम विथ दिस केस सपोज ए मीट ए स्टार इक्वल्स टू जीरो एंड वॉट ए स्टार स्टार इंडिकेट वॉट डू यू थिंक अबाउट ए स्टार स्टार ए स्टार राइट सो ए स्टार स्टार इज सुडो कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए स्टार सो बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सुडो कॉम्प्लीमेंट वॉट कैन वी राइट ए स्टार मीट विथ ए स्टार स्टार इक्वल्स टू जीरो ओके एंड इफ वी आर टेकिंग एनी एनी एलिमेंट सपोज यस एंड वी आर टेकिंग मीट ऑफ दैट एलिमेंट विथ ए स्टार सपोज यस मीट विथ ए स्टार इक्वल्स टू जीरो देन व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन ए एंड ए स्टार स्टार सॉरी यक्स एंड ए स्टार स्टार जस्ट लाइक दिस यक्स इज लेस देन इक्वल टू नाउ रिप्लेस अवर यक्स मींस विथ ए गॉट इट मींस इफ यू आर टेकिंग ए मीट विथ a star which is equals to 0 so from this and this we can conclude what is the relation between a and a star star a is less than a star star so a is less than equal to a star star this proves our first property got it now the second property we have a is less than equal to b and we have to prove that b star is less than equal to a star okay so what is the a star is we can denote it by it is the pseudo complement of a star a. sorry a so a meet A star equal to zero means, and if we take any x meet with this a star equals to equals to zero, and that x is less than equal to a star. So in this case, our x is just like, our b star is just like x. So no, uh, why why like that? We want to prove that. Yes, sir. We want to prove that. Ah, that means ah. if we prove that b star meet a is zero. Zero. Okay. Then b star will ah. become less than or equal to a. So means ah. uh, for showing b star is less than equal to a star, that is we uh, that is we want to prove that a meet with b star equals to zero. Ah, you write right. claim there. You write as claim. Otherwise. so we have to prove that uh, we have to prove this just take ls this a meet b star but what is given a is less than equal to b so how can we write a a meet b right a meet b meet with b star so meet is associative so we can alternate this bracket so a meet with b meet b star what can you say about b meet b star right by the definition of pseudo complement means b star is pseudo complement of b then the by definition b meet b star is zero which means a meet with zero and what is a meet with zero right so which proves a meet zero which is equals to so we prove a meet uh, a meet b star equals to 
zero means b star is less than equal to a. Got it? A star. Now I will prove this. The third property a star equals to a star star. Whenever we say a is equal to b, we will show that uh, for showing a is equal to b, we will show a is less than equal to b and b is less than equal to a. So, by first property, it is clearly a star is less than equal to a star star star. Okay, by one. No, just why? No, no, no. Yes, no, sir. Means a is less than a star star. So just star is in increasing. A star is less than. Means applying star. Okay. A is okay. less than a star star. And just applying star. So a star is less than. No, that is not correct. No? Okay. That the other one you will take. Huh? No, explain next. I will tell. Huh? Okay. Next one. The, what is other relation? Other relation I want to show that that A star star, this is my claim. Because if A is less than B, when what second one says? Its complement is smaller. Hmm. B star is less than or equal to A star. Yes or no? Okay. Okay. We are A star star is less than A star. So, we have this uh, by first property a is less than a star star applying second on this property means a is less than b then b star is less than a star so a here our a is a and our b is a star star so what we get a star triple star is less than a star and by this first from this second we get that a star is equals to a triple star so that first one we have applied for a star yes sir okay uh, means for, for a is equal to a star star uh, for then a is for a star it becomes a star star for any element in l that is true first one is true so we are applying that one for the element a star. Okay, we are not directly taking star both sides. Yes, sir. That applying is the reverse relation. Yes or no? Okay. Now fourth. <coughs> a belongs to SL if and only if a equals to <coughs> a star stars. Means uh, I, we we want to show this both side. Firstly, assume this A belongs to what is S of L by the way? Yes, of it L is written here. Hmm. This set of pseudo, pseudo complement, complement elements. Sir, no. Okay. So A belongs to yes of L. Suppose A is some B star and means A is some B star and B belongs to L. And my claim is. A equals to A star star. Okay. Now taking L LHS A applying star on applying star on it that is A star, but what is what is A? A is B star. So, so you write there B star now why you are writing A star? Applying star on it. And First apply star and then okay. No, but A is equal to A star is not correct, no? Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. And no need to write LHS and all. You remove that and okay, sir. whatever you want to write it. Okay, sir. Okay. A is huh. you, you write okay, I'll correct it. You write what you are supposed to say. A star and A is B star. Wait, wait. Let them let her write. State. B star star and 
ਦੇ ਸਤਾਰ ਦਾ ਹੋਏਗਾ ਇਸ ਨੋਟ ਕਰਕੇ and by third this is by third this is b star but b star is a okay a equals to b star i am applying double star on both side a double star b star double star which is b triple star but uh, by using third property a star equals to a triple star means what we get b star but what is b star is a then we are getting a star equals to a okay so one part is proved now uh, if a star now we suppose a star star conversely conversely suppose a star star equals to a and a equals to b star where b star equals to a which is belongs to l yes of l sorry correct b b equals to a star sorry this proof you write b is equal to a star not a is equal to b star b is equal to if you take b is equal to a star then a is b star ट now i suppose to prove this property number 5 that is if a comma b belongs to sl then a meet b belongs to sl now uh, what is the meaning of a meet b belongs to sl can you tell me means what we want to show exactly yeah means it belongs to s of l so by previous property means a belongs to s of l it must in this form a equals to a star star means a meet b that is our claim is a meet b equals to a meet b star star okay so for proving this we have to say uh, show that a meet b is less than equal to a meet b star star and a meet b star star is less than equal to a meet b 
this is obviously why this is obli obviously can you tell me by using these properties by one right huh? right by simply one a mid b is less than a mid b star star now we want to show a mid b star star is less than or equal to a me b for showing this we have to show that a mid b is less than a and a mid b is less than b and if the same element is less than a and b then it is less than uh, is it is less than by uh, mid of the, uh, those two elements so A mid B double star, na? That yes, is less than or equal to A and Haan. A mid B double, double star is less than or equal to B. Yes, A mid B is less than. A yeah. mid B is less than A. Less than equal to A. So, by this property, we can write A star is less than equal to A mid B star by property number second. A mid B is less than A. So, A is uh, by applying this property means A is really uh, less than equal to B then B star is less than A star. Here our A is uh, A mid B and B is A. Again applying property number second means now our A is A star and our B is A mid B star. So, what we will get? By using second property, right means A meet B double star is less than equal to A double star. But what is the what is A double star? Means which is less than A meet B less than Similarly, similarly for the case of B. Any problem? Any have, you have any doubt? Huh. But fourth one, what fourth one says? Whenever A is in S of L, then A double star is E. So A and B, A and B we started is S from S of L, right? So, so A double star A is A, B double star is B. B equals to you should follow lecture properly double star not B star B, star, B double star sorry okay got it similarly for case of where should I write? similarly it follows for B Fol because follows is, for B there is nothing and we get ha <coughs> that proves fifth one right yes sir hmm. that proves a meet B. See, left side we use karana. Ye, ye part use karana. Sir, wo aage aage na, huh? na, Achha, okay, theram... okay, aage prove karna hai na. Now you erase everything and okay, prove sixth one. Okay, sir. Huh. Erase everything and write sixth one. Supremum of A comma B is star of A star meet B star. Ye theram bhi erase karna. ये भी अरेस्ट है। वो सबको मालूम है, हाँ, मालूम है तेरा। राइट प्लेन, सिक्स्थ वन। ऊपर ऊपर लिखना, इतना हाइट है, ऊपर लिखा, और ऊपर लिखा, और ऊपर लिखा। हाँ, आधा ही बोर्ड यूज़ कर रहे हैं आप, आलरेडी बोर्ड छोटा है। वो 
और ये सिर्फ इज इक्वल टू ए स्टार मीन बी स्टार होल स्टार राइट सो वी वांट वी आर वी हैव टू शो दैट सुप्रीम ऑफ ए कॉमा बी इज द सुडो कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ ए स्टार एंड बी स्टार मीट ओके for showing it is supremum we have to show that firstly it is a uh, upper bound and then least upper bound so as you know a star meet with b star is less than a star by using second property we get a star star is less than a meet B star, star, and A star star is A. Why A star star is A? Because A is belongs. Ah, A and B are from S of L. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Similarly, Similarly for, for B. B. So clearly, A star meet B star whole bracket star is the upper bound. Means simply take meet why we require that? Why we require meet also? No. Okay, explain. Now we are trying to prove what? Uh, a join B belongs to S of L. Sorry? Uh, ah. This is we define in theorem also. A join B defined as A ah. star meet B star star. Yeah, that is A join B, correct? Ah. Because it is supremum. Okay. Now we, we have just now proved it is an upper bound. Yes. Now we want to prove it is, it is least, least upper bound. Ah. Means uh, <coughs> if A is less than X and B is less than Suppose we are yes. taking x as an uh, upper, upper bound. bound. Hmm. So by property uh, property two, x star is less than a star, and x star is less than b star. Okay, x star is less than. Uh, see, it is always remember what we are supposed to prove. What yes, we are proved? What we are supposed to prove now? Hmm. Join of least upper bound, right? So a star meet b star star yeah. should be less than or equal to x. Okay. So somehow get relation, take Between. their meet. What you will get? Uh, if you take their meet, x star meet with no. First you write x star. X star is less than or equal to a star meet b star. Now apply again Applying second. Star. Okay. Yes, correct. That correct only. Apply star. So what you get is reverse inclusion. A star meet B star whole star. Less than equals to yes star star. But what is X star star? It is X. <coughs> because it is. No problem. So, we this is list. A, this is a list. Uh, from this property number fifth and sixth, we prove that A uh, S L is a lattice. Means A join B belongs to A meet uh, A join B belongs to that S L and A meet B belongs to S L. Now we have to prove that S L is a Boolean let. Uh, Boolean lattice. So, what is the definition of Boolean lattice? Complemented and We have to prove that <coughs> first case is complemented lattice.
and then distributed. <coughs> Firstly, I will show this that yes, it is a complemented lattice. Say now. Yes. How so, much? firstly, I will show yes, it is a complemented lattice. Uh, and what is the definition of complemented lattice? That each element has a complement. Means we have to show if any element Ex A belongs to Sl, then each element has complement. As you know, YSL is a pseudo complement. Means we have one relation. What is that? What is one relation if YSL is a pseudo complement? Last class only we proved, right? Yeah. If YSL is a pseudo complement, what is the relation? Means simply, we have one relation A meet A star equals to 0. Means if A star is a pseudo complement, then we have this relation. Now we are going to prove A star becomes complement means we have to prove that A join with A star equals to 1. So you write one. there as claim, you write this oh. as a claim and above one is given because it is a A is already a pseudo complement so that already is there. Ah. Okay. But, uh, by previous part, how can we define join operation means A join B, it is same case, it is same as A star meet B star star. So, don't write LHS and okay. RHS. Okay, sir. Both chota class period LHS, RHS. Okay. Right? Now, directly take A, A join A, B star. A join. Ah. A star, a star equal to equals to A star what is apply this meet with what will what it will become star of that means a double star a star star but what can you say about A star meet with A star star by using the definition of pseudo complement if A star star is a pseudo complement of A star it will become 0 and what is this pseudo complement of 0 obviously 1. So, it proves that yes it is a complemented lattice. Now, our second claim is that SL is this to be less. For, pro pro for proving yes it is a distributed lattice, previously we say three equivalent statements. So, we are using one statement that is By proving this result, we will get that SL is a distributed lattice. For, uh, for proving this result, I required one claim, subclaim. By using that subclaim, we will prove this result. The claim is that if A comma B belongs to SL, uh, if a is less than equal to B, if and only B, <coughs> A meet B star equals to 0. So, first, first suppose A is less than B star, sorry B. A is less than B. So, 
this time b. By applying, uh, by applying second property, we, we will get d star is less than. I want to show this a b star which is 0 by claim. I have this and I have to show this. So, a meet b star, how can I write a? a is less than or equal to b is given, right? So, how we can write a? a meet b, meet with b star. Meet operation is associative, so a meet b meet b star so and what is what we know about b, b meet b star it, it is 0 so which equals 0 now i have this now i suppose this and i want to prove a is less than equal to b star so <coughs> a meet b star equals to 0 a meet b star equals to 0. So, what is the relation between b star and a star? A star. A star is, a star is, a star is the star largest is element, element, right? Yes. So, what a you will get? b star is less than a star. <coughs> now but by property by property second, what do we know? If V star means reverse, if V star is less than A star then? A double star is less than or equal to B double star. Okay. That is same as saying that A is less, a than, is less than. than. This prove that. This prove our second claim. Means if a comma b belongs to s of l then a is less than or equal to b if and only if a meet b star is equals to 0. Now by using this claim I will prove this result that s l is a distributive like this. <coughs> this. Okay. So take x meet which one one second which one you can get? Yes, A meet B star. Corners part. Okay, okay. A, A meet B star, B star is star given. equals to A. And we know already that A meet A star is 0. Yes or no? And now what is the relation between B star and A star? Means here our X is B star. Just deal. X has B star. In By definition of pseudo complement, any element satisfies means when you meet with a if it is 0 then a star is the largest element yes or no hmm. less than means a star. here x is b star got it x means uh, meet z is less than x so, if if I give, uh, if I take join with other element is obviously less than this thing. <coughs> X meet Z is less than, no. What we are supposed to, what do you want to uh, prove? I want to prove this, Means this uh, is so the how you will prove? First you tell at least some idea, so okay. that you get, uh, <coughs> are you proving X join Y is less than that? No, so huh. x meet z uh, by proving x, uh, x meet z then y meet z less than this thing hmm. and by using this claim applying star. Yes, okay, prove it. Prove it. Okay. x is less than, oh, now we have claim a is less than or equal to b. Uh, then suppose this is a and this is b. So, by our subclaim, we will get x meet z meet with star of this. x join y meet z <coughs> equals to 0. Similarly, for y also.
x plus 2 and why it is true for y meet z because there there it should be y no then sir y and x whether y and x are interchange yes sir why y meet z is less than or equal to this hmm? sir if how it will follow sir sir if we take y uh, meet z is y and hmm. this is y and we uh, take any uh, join with this this is obviously less than no so the second is the xy y if at all you have to write that y and x interchange huh? okay check whether it, is that what you want or different one Huh? <coughs> sir, after that, just write. Yes, no, sir, write it. Hmm. After that, actually, this is huh? x and y. We'll see. We'll see. You write this side. Okay. We'll see where you will correct. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Sir. Suppose this is <coughs> A, B, and this is C. Meet operation is associative, so we can write say meet with Y. Meet with x equals to zero. Equals to zero. <coughs> and <coughs> and what is the relation then? How can we? Uh, what is the relation between this, this and this? Means if x star and this thing. If x star is a pseudo complement of this, so this whole is less than yes. <coughs> Got it? X meet x star, we know already it okay. is zero. Then this one you call it as something like e. So a meet x is equal to zero. Okay. So this element is less than or equal to x star. X star is the largest element satisfying that condition. Uh, yes. Similarly, for case of. Is that clear? See, when you meet x with that element, you are getting zero. But we know already x star is the largest element. When you meet with x, you get zero. So therefore, this is less than or equal to x star. Uh. Similarly, in the case of y also. Third meet. X join it is less than one star. Okay. So now if if this same element less than X star and Y star, obviously it is less than their meet. Means Z meet x join y z is <coughs> less than equal to x star with y star. Now suppose this is a and this is b. So if a is less than b then a must be less than a meet b star star is equals to 0. There you have missed star right last yes, line. Yes sir star. <coughs> I will write here. Z meet next one. 
by using this clip got it suppose this is a and this is our b and a is less than b if a is less than b applying a uh, if and only if a meet b star equals to 0 so our a is same and our b is x star meet y star so applying star on it got it yes sir no Okay. Now, do not sit silent that she is applying again that condition that entire left one is A, right side is B. So, A is less than or equal to B, then when you take A meet B star, it is 0. Got yes. Okay. Now, again, this is suppose A, B, and C. So, we can uh, meet operation is associative. So, Z meet X star. star meet with star equals to <coughs> 0. What do you know about this thing x star meet y star star? What can we write instead of this thing? Hmm? It is x join y right. To z meet x join y meet with x join y a meet b star equals to 0 means a is less than b so z meet x join y is less than x join why is say this is we want to prove yes got it so yes. by proving this result yes so of l only, is uh, only one thing i told you that second yes. property right y meet z huh. that is obvious you no need to prove it from similar why because that side you have already y meet z yes sir and you are joining with x hmm. that means you are joining some more element yes sir. so that is just like a is less than or equal to a join b yes or no from that it follows okay so this proved that sl is a lattice and sl is a boolean lattice now we have some definitions <coughs> first definition is atom <coughs> um, what can you know about what is we we are know about atom atom cannot be further divided into some other thing or particle so same with uh, this thing and element a belongs to l is said to be atom it is if zero covers a means there is no element between a and 0 a sorry a covers 0 if there is no element between a and 0 then we know uh, we will call a as an atom now dual atom uh, dual atom means we have to just dual of this thing Suppose an element B belongs to L is dual atom. So, what can you uh, can you conclude from this definition? Or positively, or B, and B covers one, right? That means one covers B. one covers B. Okay. Now two definition join ir irreducible meet ir <coughs> irreducible and double irreducible can you uh, draw one picture that diamond lattice draw diamond lattice zero below and one above abc
in between a b c 3 are there a then b then c right ah. b and c, b and 0 you join b 0 yes. ah. now what are the item uh, atoms in this ah. a b c zero are course. atoms or not yes sir ah. because zero course ah. Ah. they are also called dual atoms dual. right yes. ah. if you draw n 5 that ah. You write 0 below and 1 up, then A, then below to A, B, below to A, B, then the other side it is C. So, in this, whether A is an atom, A is not an atom, whether A is a dual atom, yes. So, B and C are actually atoms, okay, and a and C are dual atoms. Is this clear? What about B? B is neither atom. No. B is an atom, right? B is atom. Not dual atom. So what can I say? C. Huh? C is C both C atom as well atom. as dual, dual atom. atom. Okay. Okay. Now join irreducible and meet irreducible. After the definitions, you have any results? No. To prove. Then uh, next what? class, next class you start with definition and proof. Huh? You start with those definitions, irreducible, okay. huh? then you start, okay, okay. we will stop here, thank you.